We are here at NERC, where we are going to learn a thing or two about lamb neck, are we not? When it comes to braising lamb, you got four shanks. What else you got? One Stuff. neck. Neck is meaty, it's fatty, cooks just like an osabuco. Super delicious, very underused, and Chef is gonna show us something completely different to do with it. We're here to live and learn and to respect grandmothers on today's prime time. Chef Alfier, nice to meet you. thank you so much for having us here at NUR. Really, really appreciate it. We're excited to try something that we don't normally get to make. So I think we can start to debone it and just let's go from there. Yes. Can we do this because this is Pleasure. the one thing that we can do? <laughs> Absolutely, Great. it's all yours. You can rough chop these, you know, leek, celery, carrot and onion for the bone, for the stock. May I? All your pleasure. So why, why lamb neck? Lamb pits a really, really big thing in the Middle East. All the culture in the Middle East, you like really use with it. It's really like holiday thing. And the people, they grow up the lamb in Israel. They like really, really like proud in the lamb they do it, like in the, how they grow it. Uh -huh. Is this a specific dish? It's that... specific dish for a holiday thing okay. for my grandma. She make it like in the holiday. I'm done, Brent, what are you doing? Making sure it's good, yeah. man. I think. How do we think? Yes, it's amazing. Only thing we need to do is just to open it and open it, open it and open it. So we have like a space. Butterfly this exactly. way. Exactly. Wow, this is perfect. 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 You know. We're going to fill it with a lot of herbs and friki. Friki is a green wheat. So this is like the spinach and the onion for the filling for the neck. Okay. The stock for the neck. And now what we're going to use is cumin, yep. ras el chanut, mm -hmm. five spice, and baharat. Okay. okay. Four different spices. So we're going to put like a teaspoon and a half from each. Ras el chanut, what is ras that? Ras el chanut. So ras el chanut, every spice shop in the Mediterranean have a different blend of spices. Okay. It's called ras el chanut. It's oh, mean it's... head of the shop. This is what is this, ras el chanut. Every spice shop has on ras el chanut. So is this yours? Or no, I don't have a spice shop yet, okay. but when I will have, okay. I will have a... So, the filling going to be inside. We're going to close it with the butterfly things you do. Cool. And we're going to roll it to the same thing. We're going to season these things. We want, like, you know, flavor here. Worthwhile to mention that lamb has so much flavor, exactly. and especially the neck. Exactly. There's a lot of fat, and a lot of that flavor exactly. is from the fat. It's aggressive already. Yeah. We, may, we take it to a different level of aggressive. Totally. Salt, pepper, cumin a little bit. Rasel Chanut, Barat, Five Spice. Yeah, all of you like look about me like I'm crazy with the spices. Don't worry, you will see. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is this is the spice level I like to see. Yeah? yeah oh yeah. Everyone oh, does yeah. here get like stress about uh, the seasoning. Is this ever on the menu? No. No. No on the menu. It's Super just, traditional for both is, of you. Oh. This is Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving. Yes, we're going to make Thanksgiving three of us together. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm already wanting to make this over a turkey. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I will use a little bit with the hammer. Just to open it a little bit, you help to the season to get inside deeper to the meat. And then, filling. The reason we open here, the butterfly, so it's, we can close it on the filling. And when we roll it, it will save everything inside. Look at that. Look at that pretty. Wow, wow, wow. What do we think? I coming to a class. Coming to a class. I, the only thing I will ask you to do just to put the sage inside. So when we sear it, all the sage gets inside. How is this different than what your grandmother taught you? The only thing it's different here is the salt. Really? Because yeah, I try to save my grandmother recipe super traditional and super like original. Stick to the base and stick to like the, the culture. Uh -huh. And then we're going to sear the neck. I'm start on the fat size and not on the open size. Okay? I don't add oil. Cook it in its own fat. Exactly. This is the one of the things that we talk about a lot in the shop is like if you have something that is fatty that you're gonna sear, don't add oil. Exactly. Use the fat that it's exactly. in that's already there because you're just gonna make it more flavorful by cooking it in its own fat. Super yeah. So she squeezed the tomato and she get just the seed and the juice. All the acidity oh. of the stew get from tomato. And this is part of the sauce too. So now it's the fun thing. We're going to build kind of a picture. Every time she builds it differently, so it's become like an art. It like really depends what we want. So grandma's okay with us if we start freestyling. Exactly. Okay. 
Okay. So if she care. gets after us in the comments. Before the neck, this is the magic she say. Take the garlic, cut it to half, give to the neck to sit on the garlic. So the garlic stand here and the neck stand on him. So Love it. get all the flavor. Tomato okay. juice, we're okay. going to spread it all over, okay? So the cabbage get a little bit, the neck get a little bit, all the vegetables, everything oh get God. a little bit. Okay, this is the acidity we want, this is the acidity yeah. we're going to get. And this is the stock. After like two and a half, I save the bone because we want to cook the bone inside too. Yes. So we give to the yes, bones yes, yes, too, yes, yes. next to the neck. We spread, you know, all over. So we're going to start now 400 Fahrenheit. Three hours total, it's like four hours process, but we're going to get something like very like solid, flavory. Okay. Oh. So this is what we get after four hours. We want to slice it? You want yes. to try? Oh, let's do it. Yes, yes. 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 Oh my God. That is beautiful. Let's make a plate. Let's tie it. All of us together. No? Yes. We yes. ready? Please. We ready. We ready for that. I'm going straight to the, I'm going straight here. This is where I want to be. The texture is so perfect, nice and tender. The fattiness with all of the, uh, the herbs from the inside is perfect. Yeah, that, yeah, that fattiness and like bit of meat you get is like, it's so hard working. It's like really, really stands up to like all the spices. I don't, I do not ever really make lamb neck. It's like a very rare thing that I get to try it. What about you? Have you had it? I've made this before and it has definitely never been this good. <laughs> it's amazing how many ingredients went into that and then how unified everything is. The world, the world. All those flavors are just no, no. singing. No. Now we've tried it, I'm kind of curious. We incorporated all of these different ingredients from everywhere. How do you describe this? Is it do you say this is an Israeli dish? Yeah, if you were gonna put it on the menu. I know, I don't think about the name for that photo there. I just always like think about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and this is like my Thanksgiving. This is Ooh. so amazing. Thank, thank you, you so Pleasure. Pleasure. much. Thank you so much. You. Really, really Gala. appreciate it. All of us. For more episodes like this, click here. Oh! Little yogurt chaser. Very composed.